one of the most powerful politicians in the states facing a runoff to try and keep his seat in the state house. Fox 4's Paige Ellenberger live this morning with that story. Good morning. Good morning, Brandon and Lauren. And this was truly such an interesting race to watch play out yesterday as Speaker Dade Phelan is in hot water with some members of the Texas Republican Party. The two term uh, incumbent struggled getting the votes that he needed yesterday. Last summer, he was at odds with Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick over how to cut property taxes in the state. Phelan also oversaw the House vote last year to impeach Texas AG Ken Paxton on corruption charges. Paxton, though, of course, was acquitted. The attorney general and former president Donald Trump threw their support behind Phelan's challenger, hardline conservative David Covey. Last night, Phelan finished second behind Covey in the race for House District 21, which represents parts of southeast Texas. It's been a year-long battle for the most part. Um, millions of dollars coming in from outside the district, from West Texas, to uh, try to take this seat away from Southeast Texas, trying to take the speakership away from Southeast Texas. Tonight, every man, woman, and child in this room has made history. Last night, Phelan finished second behind Covey in the race for House District 21. Again, Paxton reacted to last night's election results on X, saying the runoff is not a defeat, but rather a rallying cry for all conservatives across the state. It's been more than 50 years since a sitting speaker lost a primary race here in Texas. Now, that runoff is set for May 28th. No Democrats ran for House District 21, which basically means whoever wins the runoff will take the House seat. Live in Dallas, I'm Paige Ellenberger for a good day.